some of the most fascinating and bizarre creatures on our planet are also masters of evasion and disguise. And they're mesmerizing to observe, capable of sudden and stunning color transformations. And at times they seem to be as curious about us as we are about them. The most familiar cephalopod is the octopus, famous for its eight arms and keen eyes. Cephalopod is Greek for head feet, perhaps a bit of a misnomer since what appears to be this octopus's head is actually its body that protects its brain as well as three hearts and other vital organs. This coconut octopus is very attached to its clamshell home, much like its remote relatives. Both clams and cephalopods are members of the phylum mollusca. As they evolved, octopuses lost some of their mollusk characteristics, but like mollusks, they breathe through a network of gills. This elusive mimic octopus is trying very hard not to be one, imitating a flounder as it swims along. But some prefer to walk. This two-spot octopus casually strolls on the sand with a double-fisted warning to give him some space. In contrast to octopuses, which tend to live more solitary lives, squid are more social creatures. They have eight arms and two additional tentacles, and spend much of their short lives in suspended animation. Squid are one of the most agile invertebrates in the sea. They're also known for constricting and expanding their chromatophores, the cells that cause their skin to change color and display their bioluminescence. Scientists are only beginning to decipher this sophisticated form of communication. It's not unusual for scuba divers to observe squid during their mating dance. Here, in less than seven meters of depth, some squid continue this ritual while fertilized females lay their eggs in the staghorn corals below. Like the squid, cuttlefish have eight arms and two tentacles. Their proportionately large bodies or mantles not only protect their organs but also house their cuttle bone, a thin shell-like remnant of their mollusk ancestry. This cuttle bone and their fluttering skirt help them maintain buoyancy and maneuver in spite of their less streamlined shape. Cuttlefish, like all cephalopods, vary greatly in size. This tiny pygmy cuttlefish pretends to be a wisp of algae in the current, pausing periodically to get a bite to eat. In contrast, this flamboyant cuttlefish is anything but hidden from view as it struts along the sand. Scientists think that these rhythmic color displays are a defense mechanism, warning other marine creatures to stay away from its toxic flesh. But their hypnotic color changes have different meanings. This male flamboyant cuttlefish is trying its best to captivate a larger female. At the end of a 15-minute courtship, the female gives in and the male seems almost surprised that his persistence paid off. Mating marks the last phase of life for these cuttlefish, as well as for the octopus and squid. Cephalopods are incredible marine creatures. They have highly developed brains and nervous systems, and an intelligence that scientists are only beginning to understand. And since their evolution has taken more than 500 million years, I worry about their ability to adapt to the accelerated changes that we're observing in our oceans. As we all contribute toward making our seas healthier, I hope we'll remember these beautiful beasts.